Saturday, the Taste of Northampton was held downtown. The event was an opportunity to showcase local restaurants and other vendors. While taste events were popular in the area during the 80s and 90s, they became less common in recent years due to challenges such as staffing, weather, and new marketing opportunities. However, after an 18-year hiatus, the event returned to Northampton last year, drawing over 10,000 people. We talked to local restaurants about the benefits and challenges of holding the event and what they'd like to see from Taste of Northampton in the future. There are some challenges, but luckily the DNA did a very good job of organizing things to make it a much more smoother transition. A little bit of organizational challenges, making sure we're set up and ready to go and everything looks good as far as communicating with the chamber and the town. But we're excited to be here. It's great for us. It's great publicity, great for the community, brings everyone down. Great day for everyone. Please garlic chicken is one of the ones that we already have on the menu. Corn sog was an old favorite. So sometimes we bring back older items that we used to have. There's like It's easier to do. It's easy to prepare and it's also just really delicious. We pick the stuff that's kind of great to serve, easy on the fly. Some of our featured items such as our pulled pork, our scallop chowder, the local Mexican street corn we've been featuring, trying to support local farmers and local produce in this tough season this year with all the rain. Some of the items that we select to showcase just are a little bit different, something that I would like to see um, at different restaurants that I would go to. So if I have the ability to do that with our restaurants, Boleto, then I'm definitely going to try to do something new. That's why we're doing lobster rolls and, and our fresh caprese sandwiches too. Just a, a different take on things. Spoleto's been around for over 30 years, so we're just trying to stay, you know, giving back to the community and offering something a little bit different and keeping the Spoleto name on it. From the future of the Taste of Northampton, I hope they keep it a day, one day thing versus like a weekend like they used to do in the past. One day events make it a lot easier to run. And then it's not as uh, it's not as difficult then. But it's a great exposure one way or another. Let's keep it going every year. Let's make it two days next year. Let's go for it, yeah? Maybe a little bit more than food. Some vendors would really benefit, I think, from this um, from this setup. Thanks for watching. If you missed the taste of Northampton, make sure to stop by next year.